As Gilda's Laugh Fest continues, we are hearing from comedians who are performing at the festival this week. Tonight, we are talking with a comedian from right here in Grand Rapids who has been doing comedy for more than two decades. Joining us now, David Dyer. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks for being here. Of course, you're taking part in the Clean Comedy Showcase and the Dirty Show at Laugh Fest. So tell us about yeah. your involvement in those. Well, I've been, I've been involved in Laugh Fest since the very beginning, since the very first year. So it's been exciting to see how the festival has progressed over the years. Uh, I am going to be hosting the Clean Comedy Showcase tonight, and then I'm also going to be hosting it. They have a special brunch show Saturday morning at 11 a.m., and I'm going to be hosting that, and then a little... 180 that night on Saturday night I'll be part of the Dirty Show at Creston Brewery. Yeah, kind of the best of both worlds, I guess. What makes Laugh Fest so special? Well, I think it's it's been uh, created now and evolved into something that everybody's looking forward to every year. And it also raises money in a very fun way for a tremendous cause. Gilda's Club, as you know, provides cancer and, and grief support programs for people who are going through some very tough times. So it's, I mean, what a better way to raise money for a great organization than, than having people laugh, you know, which is based on Gilda Radner, who the club is named after, who's a Michigan native and an uh, extremely funny person. Yeah, it must be so great to have all these comedians come in. Like you say, you've been doing it since year one. You must really have that unique bond, and it must be nice yeah. to be with the other comedians. It is a lot of fun for a couple of reasons. First of all, when you travel around the country, which I do, you know, as, as a full-time comedian as well, you don't get to see a lot of people that you know. And this is kind of a fun time. It's almost like summer camp. Some people that you know come into town that you haven't had a chance to see for a while. But also, I think the fun thing is that you will find with comedians, there's kind of a fraternal bond. We've all kind of been through the same sort of stuff. And even if you don't know each other, you've had similar experiences, so you immediately have something to talk about. Well, and speaking of that fraternal bond, you're also a Grand Rapids Township firefighter. What initially drew yes. you to comedy? Well, I, I started comedy almost 30 years ago. I, I uh, was a theater student at Michigan State University, and it was something I always wanted to try. Never did it in college. Shortly after college, I, uh, I started doing it, and it just it, it took off and just absolutely loved it. And as far as the firefighting, I didn't get into that until very late. I was 48 when I became a firefighter, and uh, I, was, I became a paid-on-call firefighter with Grand Rapids Township, and then just uh, last year became a full-time firefighter with Grand Rapids Township. Well, congrats on that. Well, so you've kind of done it the opposite of what a lot of people do. Yeah. They sort of get into comedy later <laughs> in your career. Well, that's that's amazing. And thanks for doing that, of course. And thanks for being here today. Have fun during Laugh Fest. Thank you. you. Will.